Yosh Jr., trimmer and flight controller on Emirates Team New Zealand, defender of the 37th America's Cup. Yosh, today we we have seen the the biggest swell so far, pretty disorganized from the east, and we also had very unstable wind conditions from the southwest yeah, and very unstable on on intensity. Can you share the main insights of the day? Yeah, exactly. It's the um, biggest waves we've seen here in Barcelona. Uh, sure, some of the other teams have seen bigger, but it's basically all generated from the Mistral coming out of France and the the big amount of wind coming out of there pushes the waves and the waves wrap into Barcelona. But unfortunately we didn't get the wind so it was a little bit lighter. We were, got the waves but not the wind. Going into the manoeuvres today, it seemed like it was a lot harder to jive and to tack from port tack into starboard tack and especially to accelerate when you were heading against the direction of the swell. Uh, did you feel the same way on board? Yeah, I mean, I wasn't on board, but for sure the waves make a massive difference to how you have to sail the boat. So um, it gets a lot trickier when the waves get big, and, and that's where the skill of the crew comes in. So, yeah, I guess punching into them like all boats is always harder than going down them. So depending on which way the waves are skewed, the boat can be easier or harder to sail. Then, um, if you could have the opportunity to ask your design team to customize the components for a day like today, and talking especially about uh, foil arms, foil flaps, and the shape of the foils. What, do you, what would you be asking for? <laughs> How do we go faster? <laughs> Always. <laughs> okay. And then going into uh, boat tuning, we noticed that even today, uh, when you have a bigger top, you're sailing with the lowers pretty loose. Uh, is that something that you're doing intentionally? Uh, no, uh, it's something we could look into a little bit more, but um, the rig's pretty well, you know, set up and it just, I don't know, no, well, I don't know much about it to be honest. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay, and then in terms of communication, even though you were not sailing today, you're on the, on the chase boat and you can hear what, what the team is talking about, what they are saying, uh, is there much more communication when you have days like today? Yeah, I think naturally when the waves are a bit bigger or, you know, the conditions are trickier or shiftier or gustier, the conversation always turns a little bit more towards the boat handling like, like any boat. Um, and then it's just about trying to get your head out of the boat to keep racing. So it, like, like all sailing, it just gets a little bit more challenging when the waves get up. Okay, thank you very much.